Yo, welcome back to our next Connect um, Pokemon session. The game was working a second ago. I'm going to check the time because I can. I haven't been keeping track of. Okay, there's where it tells me the recording time. Um, I've moved all my stuff to a different room. Sorry, guys. Bear with me one second. I'm going to change my controller settings. So that should be right now. Yep. All right. Let's have a quick look at our team. We've got Lightning, our Zeb Striker. Respect, our Blastoise. Maya, our Charizard. The Destroyer. Eric and Bondi. So, last time we worked our way up to this gym leader. Now we're going to have our gym battle. Did the fantastic speed leave you dizzy? My beloved Pokemon will be the next one to make your head spin. All right, guys, it's on. We've got to do this. By the way, I'm nice and warm here wearing my Woody. <laughs> All right, she's leading off with a Staraptor, which is a normal flying type Pokemon. We're very lucky in this because we got lightning up front. Oh, we've got, we leveled up way too much. I'm sorry, guys. Going to lead off with a strong Thunderbolt. Boom. It's going to send out a Galette, which is a Ghost and a Ground type. Because it's Ground, we're going to have to swap out. But I think this is Bondi's time to shine. Boom! I'm going to go with a strong Energy Ball. Boom! Now they're sending out an Agron, which is a steel rock type. We might have to leave Bondi in. Steel rock. Let's go respect. Teach this gym, uh, gym leader all about respect. And hit him with a big scold because they've got no respect. Oh, hung on with it sturdy. I'm going to move my cursor off to the side so you guys don't have to look at it. Oh, hit him with a big takedown and not that bad. But it took itself out. Boom. And we won. We beat gym leader Elisa. I missed what she said because I was too slow. My, oh my. You have a sweet fighting style. I mean, you're a great trainer. Excuse me, I, uh, oh, here. I want you to have this. Boom, we got the lightning badge. Now, I am a little bit happy that it doesn't seem to be lagging. So I'm trying to not mess with anything. Any of our settings, any of the extra stuff that I don't need to mess with. Boom. All right, we're going to exit the gym. We will heal up and then I think we go to the left of the town. And I've been having something go through my mind, and I'm not sure if we should do it. I know that some of you at home are going to be really keen. I think we have to do it. I think we have to do it, guys. Let's put generator 
on our team and swap him out for Lightning. Is Generator level 30? Yeah, that'll be fine. You know what? Let's leave him up front. Boom! Now, I'm pretty sure the next person that we fight is going to want to do a, um, to call like a rotational battle or something. Oh, I didn't realize we'd have to fight this guy. Oh, we're going to fight Cher and he wants to see who's stronger. It's leading off with a dust tox, which is a poison bug type. We've got our generator. Let's hit with a strong dragon breath. We're going to have to go this round. I'm tempted to... All right, he's confused. We're going to play the big brain game. I think he's going to hit protect again. And we'll go out to Maya because Maya is a fire type. And fire type is strong against bug. I hit moonlight, so we're still safe. We're going to go with a strong flamethrower. They're going to go with an Archon, which is a rock flying. I'm going to teach this guy all about respect. Star Raptor is next. I'm going to go into... The Generator. Admittedly, this isn't as entertaining as when I have the whole class yelling at me, telling me what to do next. <laughs> Big Intimidate, which is going to drop our physical attack. So, I think we'll still be strong enough to take him out. No, Thunderbolt. Boom! Big hit! They're going to send out a Caterpie, which is a bug type, but a baby bug type. I'm thinking, let's leave Generator in to get some experience points. He's a bit lower than the rest of the team. Let's go with an Ancient Power, which is a rock type move, also strong against bug. Boom! Why, oh, why can't I beat you? Oh, you two are friends. That's nice since you're helping each other get better by competing. Okay, let's go. <gasps> oh, if it isn't Elisa. Aren't festivals grand? Life should be enjoyed. Uh, who is this man? This is Alda. The Unova Regents champion. Champion. Oh, this is Jaren. Champion? Why would the champion be goofing off in a place like this? I heard that remark. You're quite a judgmental young person. Are you not? My name is Alda. I'm the Unova Pokemon League champion. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. For your information, I'm not goofing off. I'm on a voyage. I know every corner of Unova. Um... I'm Cheren from Nuvema Town. My goal as a trainer is to become the champion. <laughs> Traveling with a goal in mind is a commendable thing. And after, and, sorry, and what do you plan on doing after you become champion? What else is there stronger than striving to become stronger? The strongest trainer, that's the champion. <laughs> becoming stronger. Becoming stronger, you say. Is that alone enough of a goal? 
it's not that I'm trying to say your way of thinking is wrong. In my travels, I've helped many people learn to love Pokemon. I think that's important too. If you play with those children, you might gain more of an understanding. Will you two have a Pokemon battle with those two? Hey, you two, come here for a moment. Understood. But before that. All right, they healed our Pokemon. Okay, let's battle. Trust one of these kids to have, like, the best Pokemon in all of existence. Okay, they're sending out a Ponyta and a Lampin. Not the best, but not the worst. So two fire types. And Charon's got a Dustox. Great. A poison type. I still got the same team. I was thinking in my head we just fought a Dustox, and it's because we fought his team. <laughs> all right. Let's go with a big Thunder Fang right into Lampin. Oh, he hung on. Ah, oh, he just survived. Got us with a big stomp. Psybeam from the dusk tops onto the Ponyta. Didn't do that much. Oh, and a flame burst right into dusk tops, taking him out of town. Now we're sending in Archon, which is the flying rock type. We're going to hit a Thunder Fang into Ponyta, and hopefully Archon takes out Lampin. Boom! In that big pluck, which is a flying type move, and took out Lampin. Champ stuff only, guys. Champ stuff only. Nicely done. You didn't win, but that was a good battle. Your Pokemon looked like they were having fun. Young man, if there are people like you who pursue strength, there are also people who are happy just being with Pokemon. There are many different people with many different answers. When it comes to what a champion should be, you and I hold differing views. But so be it. Give it some thought. Let's roll. The Drift Vale drawbridge is just ahead. The champion is the strongest of the strong. That's all there is to it. Oh, he's burning, but we're going to be the strongest anyway. It's tremendous that young people and Pokemon each so different can acknowledge each other and be together. Oh, this guy wants to fight. Oh, he wants to paint us, apparently. Let's turn you into a work of art. He's got a Shelmet, which is a, I think it's just a bug type for now. It's pretty strong. Might be bug steel, I can't remember. Boom! Bye bye, Shelmet. This way. Now to contact him. I really want to fast forward this part, but. Alright, so they're going to drop the drawbridge. Da -da -da! I'm looking to the side because I've got my recording stuff over this side of the screen. My, that's my recording screen. I can see sort of what's going on. Just a little bit bigger. I have a TV gig now, so farewell. All right, we're going to fast forward through this communication. I think that we can catch a Pokemon here. But we have to look for a shadow on the ground. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to lean in just a little if it blocks off. There we go. Here's our encounter for the drawbridge. Oh! Okay, we got a Mew. <laughs> Woo! All right, this is pretty cool. I'm going to just try and throw a quick ball and see what happens. 
Oh, I'm trying to think what we can do to the Mew without... I got excited when I saw it roll. <laughs> oh, no, it's using metronome, which means it can be using any move in the game. If it uses a move like self-destruct or explosion, then we've lost our encounter. Do we have anything to... We can hit a poison powder. And then just throw balls. But if he dies, then we've lost our encounter. Oh, it transformed into me. So that means it gets our moves. I'm going to try it. Oh, I really don't want to lose this Mew. Oh, and it had a Lumberry, which cured it of poison anyway. So we're just going to have to poison it again. I'm not going to lie, it's actually really, really cool that we encountered a Mew, and I'm super excited. Let's throw out a Cherish Ball. It's been good luck for us lately. One, two... Oh! It literally broke out at the last, literal last second. Now I'm upset. Come on. One, two, three. I was about to yell and cheer again. <laughs> oh, mate. Come on, just do this for me, Mew. Stay in the ball. Oof. Not even a fake roll. I'm willing to risk Bondi to catch this Mew. One, two, three. I hate that they can kick out after three. I'm going to risk the biscuit. Come on. One. Oh no, 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 no. I didn't want to I didn't want to actually lose Bondi. No no no. Oh no 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 this is bad. They don't really have anything that can hurt Maya, and she's such a higher level. We'll put Maya in. Come on. Let's go and try a Timer ball. Oh, I'm not even going to look. I don't want to look. I'm not going to look. I just want to catch it. I've turned off the game audio so I can't hear. No. Oh, mate. Mate. Let's go back to the Cherish Ball. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. Just please stay in the ball. One, two, three. Yeah, it's in. It's in. It has to be in. Please be in. No. So, <laughs> we lost Mew. 
We lost Bondi. We left with nothing. I'm upset. Oh, I'm not even going to read this. I'm so upset. That's not fair, man. That would have been such a great addition to the team. So we're gonna have to put in our put our Bondi into our finished box. Um Who's a really good replacement for Bondi? So Bondi is a really defensive Pokemon. So Hypnotize can evolve into two different things. One of them is really good, but I, I'm going to do a quick... Search. Um, I'm going to type in slow. What's it? No, it's not a polytoad. Polytoad Pokemon Black and White 2. Okay. So, to get a Politoed, yeah, you have to trade it with while it's holding the King's Rock. So, this would have been Politoed, and it would have been a really strong addition to the team. So, we're going to have to end, we're going to end up going with Polyrath. Before we move on, let's see if we can just have a quick look at what moves Poly Whirl can learn before he evolves. So, it's more of a physical move. So, Wake Up Slap is level 43. Body Slam is 21. The rest of it's not as important. So, probably not Star. Got Aurelia, who's always good. We've just got a line because we've got another. See, the Karate Kid's a fighting type Pokemon, but his defense is pretty low. Guys, I think we're going to go with Slowpoke. Our, our old friend Rex Hunt. While I'm here, I'm pretty sure it's the same. I'm 99% sure it's the same thing. But let's look at Slowpoke. Pokemon Black and White 2. Yep, so we're going to have to get a slow bro. To get a slow king, you need to trade it with the King's Rock again. And it just evolves by itself at level 37. So it learns amnesia at level 41, which is a move to help its special help grow its special defense. It's only 43 as a slow bro. All right. That's all we're going to do. What did I do? All right. So we're going to run with slow poke. Oh, we're at 25 minutes already. So. Let's level up our slowpoke just a little, and then we'll end the episode here. Thirty-one, two. 
we're going to put Zen head button instead of disable. I'm pretty sure it's a special attacker anyway. 33. So 50 physical attack and 40. Let's just get him up to 35. All right. So I'm going to save it there. Uh, save state. So we're going to save it there. We're going to call that an episode. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.